Today, we're going to be taking a look at the newest release of Nitrix. Now, this is an operating system I've been looking at on and off over the past 18 months. And this is a project that I believe uh, every with every new release, it's just more and more impressive. Now, it is based on Debian uh, with KDE Plasma and Frameworks. And App Images is its biggest way of installing software. Now, I do want to go ahead and go over the release announcement real quick. I do have people in my comments go, why am I going to sit here and watch a video with you reading off a website? Because sometimes people don't actually go to the website and re read the release announcements. And I think it's very important to know what is changed in the operating system, what they have updated, what bugs they have fixed. And sometimes it's easier for me just to let you all know about it. Now, the code name for this release is UT which refers to both the kernel and the Nitrix update tool system. And if you go down here, it just kind of lets you know that Firefox version 117 is on it, Mesa, Calamares, uh, kernel boot to version 0 0.0.7. Uh, they've added a check to ensure that the kernel boot is used in support hardware, specifically ensuring that the kernel boot is not used in devices using NVIDIA hardware due to how NVIDIA proprietary drivers work within the Linux kernel. Uh, AMD open source driver for Vulkan, and then we can scroll down here a little bit more. Uh, updated ZSync 2 and LibApp image update, Maui Kit and Maui Kit frameworks to 3.0.1. They've also added components to this distribution uh, MIME type icons to love, sidebar icons to KGPG to love. Calamares cannot enable auto login in the SDM Plasma Wayland session. These are things that they've fixed. The live ISO with Plasma Desktop requires manual login. NVIDIA X server settings. WayDroid does not work with errors. Partition Manager 23.04.3 does not list any partitions. And when VirtualBox fails to build kernel modules with DKMS. These are things they've fixed or closed. They've removed the following components. IBUS specific packages. And the MAUI settings application is removed from this release. And then, of course, you can download it. And then if you want to know about known issues, you can click here. Notes, report bugs, resources, get involved. Uh, I really like the overall look of the operating system. And I love their website because they give you all the information you need. It does come with the 6.4.12-2 Licorix kernel. And if you want to look that up, that gives you more uh things for audio and video now if you scroll down here to download it you can go with iso you can get it from foss torrents or source forge uh, i would recommend foss torrents or a direct http download foss torrents were really quick for me uh didn't take but maybe seven minutes to download it uh you just come down here find out what you want to download right there you can go with a torrent a u magnet link or a hybrid that's up to you so what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is we have this open in Firefox. I'm going to close it out. And this is what you see when you download it and either install it or run it in a virtual machine or boot it from a USB. Now, like I said, it's based on KDE. I like what they've done with it. A lot of people think that the background and wallpaper is hideous. At least that's what they've had in past comments on videos that I've done about it. And first thing I want to do is just see what kind of wallpapers we have and see if we can get something that's a little less loud, in my personal opinion. They do have a good selection of wallpapers, and they're good-looking wallpapers. They're not just the KDE out-of-the-box wallpapers, even though those are there. I'm going to see what this one looks like. I really like that one. That's not as bright and as loud as the other. We'll just go ahead and stick with that. Now, first thing I want to do is go ahead and come down here. And as you notice, when you click on the app launcher, you get a GNOME type interface, which I think is really nice inside of a KDE distribution. You've got oInstall, Arca, Bonsai, Firefox. You can install Seam, install itch.io, Nitrix, Heroic Games, Bottles. So they give you a lot of things if you're a gamer. Uh, I think the Licorix kernel would work well with you. I'm doing some gaming right now on Garuda, and it uses the Zen kernel. I haven't had too many problems with it. So, And then NitroShare. I really like NitroShare, but we still have the issue of not being able to read 
what is back here. I don't know if that's a font issue. Uh, on past releases, you could barely see it, and I can't see anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and open that back up. You've got spectacle for your screenshot. And of course, system monitor, strike, system settings, wave, and WayDroid. Now, WayDroid, if you want to run Android applications on the system, you can. Uh, Android type vanilla, gaps. I'm not going to worry about that at present. I'm just going to close out of that. Then we can go back up here. What I want to do real quick is go to station. Let's open that up and go ahead and run an eight. Oop, sorry. H top. And you run an H top. I've got four cores issued to this machine and four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, right now we're using about 1.26 gigs on the RAM, which is, you know, that's something that you're going to be using with a KDE desktop. Now in Garuda, it's a little heavier because there's a lot of more bells and whistles running. If you use something like a Manjaro or something, it's probably going to be sub one gigabyte. But when you've got, you know, a system that's got 16 or 32 gigabytes, it really doesn't matter. Now, if you're running on older hardware, this should run just fine. You're not, you know, sitting at three gigs at rest. As you can see, you got a global menu up here. Let's go ahead and close that. And we'll go ahead and drop down here to the file manager. Now, Nitrix has their own file manager. And I do like the design of this. I'm not really big on the icons up here. Maybe you guys are. I'm not. If you are, let me know in the comments below. But you can go over here. You've got your home, documents, downloads, music, pics, videos, and then, of course, your root access directory. Then you got your trash right here. Now, if you right click down here, okay. Like on Dolphin on KDE, you can right click down here and make changes. But with this one, you can't. Let's go ahead and swing over here. Shortcuts, settings, view hidden files. Well, that would be coming in handy. So if you go over here to the root, scroll down. Let's see if there's any hidden files. And it doesn't seem, well, that one I think may have been, I don't know. But anyway, we'll go back and unmark that. Yeah, that was a hidden file that was popping up right there. But once you install it, you're going to have a lot of hidden files. You can just zip on down here, show your hidden right there. And once again, that's an icon. Some people like it spelled out. I do like it. It, it, it has a good look to it. It just makes things a little bit more crisper. Uh, when I first looked at Nitrix OS... I thought a little bit of Deepen, but Deepen just seems to be a little bit more polished than all the other distros out there. But then again, that's a Chinese developed desktop and some people don't want to use it. I can understand that. I'm not going to question that. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and close out of the index. Now, the next thing I want to do is go over how you install software on here. So we'll open up the NX Software Center. And I'm going to go ahead and make that full screen so we can see it. And this right here is where you're going to get most of your applications. We're going to have to wait for it because I am in a virtual machine. We'll wait for it to go ahead and get everything loaded down there. And it looks like you've got Dolphin Emulator. You've got some more gaming things there. There's OBS, UG Chrome. Let's go up here and let's just do a search for something like uh, Caden Live and see what it pulls up. Now, as stated on their home page on their website everything here is probably going to be app image and i'm going to go ahead and just let this look there's caden lives app image so you just go over here and click and then it kind of gives you a caden live is an acronym for kde non-linear video editor shows that i have not downloaded it we can scroll down here app app image 8664 releases stable software and then gives you some screenshots up here then you've got vlc so it suggests some things if you're somebody that's using kdn live you're going to have some more suggestions down here so i do like that and then to install it i guess all you do is click there what do we got over here apps and progress of downloaded apps but i really like this software center if that's what you want to call it I do like the, the synaptic package managers and octopies when you can just go in and type a name, find it, click it, and put it in. But some people do like the overall aesthetic of having a store like this. Let's go up here and let's look. Let's see categories, subcategories. There's programming. And we are running in a live environment. So it is taking a little bit to preload all the pictures. 
let's go back over. What do we got right here? Subcategories, Stacer. That is a great system monitor. I use that on Garuda, Anti Micro X. So you've got an easy way to install software on this system. I'm going to go ahead and make that back to its regular size and close it. And then, of course, you've got Firefox, your Nota, which is your text editor. Let's go ahead and close that. V Wave audio player, clip video player. And that's what I want to see. Let's go ahead and open up the audio and the video. So they have a pretty smooth aesthetic across the board. Here's your videos. Here's your audio. So they got everything looking similar. That's another thing that I think is going to help Linux in the long run. And what we'll do is come down here. This will show you your open desktops, what you have going on. We can close. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that because I wanted to keep that up and running. But there's your desktops. There's desktop one. You can add desktop two and switch to it if you want to. And then, no, you can't mouse wheel and scroll back and forth. So you actually have to go down here and pick the desktop. Okay. Where are we at on resources still? 1.31 gigabytes in memory. Okay. We'll go ahead and brought that back down. We'll take a look at settings real quick. We'll go ahead and just put in settings, system settings. Now this should pop up. And as you notice, this looks like your old KDE layout. Now you can switch it over to the icon view. And this is how it comes actually out of the box with Nitrix. But I like switching it over to a view like this because that's what I'm more comfortable with. Just makes it easier for me to use. And in here you can change a lot of things. I'm not going to go in depth on it. We're running Nitrix Dark. You can switch it over to Nitrix Mix or Breeze. Whatever you want to use. Uh, that's truly up to you. And I'm, I'm saying if you've never used a KDE distro or if you've never used Nitrix, download it, throw it on a USB, put it through its paces, and then come over to your settings over here and just kind of play around with them. See what you got. See what you can do. The different things you can do. I promise you, once you do that, you won't want to go back to a Windows. And then if you wanted to get new global themes, you just come down here, click get new global themes, find one that you like, install it, and then you can be using it. It's no big deal. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and close out of this and we will close out of that. And that, my friends, is a quick look at Nitrix OS. It keeps getting better with every release, a lot less laggy. When I first looked at it 18 months ago, it was pretty slow, but it's a great operating system. Download it, throw it on a USB, Heck, put it in a virtual machine, take it for a test drive. If you do that, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video today. If you think there's something I missed or if you just want to say hi. Drop it in the comments below. Please don't forget to like the video. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.